today's episode in the rat bird seat. <laughs> Gum shoots. Carmen San Diego's cartel of cruel crud balls has committed another crime. This time, they zapped Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, this bird is all over. It appears on the country's currency, flag, and coat of arms. Several ancient sculptures of the bird, carved out of green soapstone, stand in a museum near the ruins of the Shonakaranga city-state. This powerful kingdom flourished between the 13th and 15th centuries A.D. in the southeastern part of Zimbabwe. Its power faded, but remnants remain. An Acropolis, a temple with walls as high as 36 feet, and the stone birds. But this morning, Wonder Rat, that rodential robber, grabbed one of the birds by the beak and took off with it. He thinks it will make a cool action figure in his Rat Mania road show. Gumshoes, your mission is to trap that wretched rat. Bring Zimbabwe's beloved bird back home and then bust up Carmen San Diego's gang for good. They've ripped off the goods. Now chase down those hoods. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Revin Waran. <laughs> Vanessa Chambers. <laughs> Brian Bocanfuso. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. <laughs> Thanks very much. Hi, guys. How are you? Great. Very good. You heard about the case. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. And as always, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you. Okay, Chief, let's go. Greg, Wonder Rat has stolen the Zimbabwe stone birds, and there's no time to lose. Now, here's the profile on Wonder. He's Wonder Rat, fabulous Wonder Rat, the mighty Wonder Rat. He has no shame. He'll do anything to promote his name, but he's so lame, he can only find fame in the crime game. And here's what we know so far. Wonder Rat didn't get far. He brought the birds to the capital city of a West African nation. It's close to the Center for Scientific Research in Plant Medicine. So, of course... Like any rat, he's deathly afraid of laboratories, so you won't find him there. But the city is also a great spot for live music. Check out the Bakum nightclub. He might try to earn a few sadies, uh, that's the national currency, performing his cheesy rendition of Shake, Rat, Tail, and Roll. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, to what African capital city did Wonder Rat go? Is it Niamey, Accra, and Jemena? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital city of a West African nation. Looks like everybody's ready. Previn, we'll start with you. What do you think? I said Niamey. Uh, Niamey. What do you think, Vanessa? I also said Niamey. Niamey. The answer, uh, Brian? Niamey. Niamey. The answer we're looking for is Accra. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Tough way to start that one off. But it's going to give us some time to find out about you. Previn, tell me about you. Uh, I like science, and I like working with computers. Very good. Vanessa, how about you? Um, I recently took a trip to the USSR, and I visited Moscow, Western Siberia, um, Tashkent and Samarkand, and the Black Sea area, and St. Petersburg. Great, great trip. Brian, how about you? Uh, I like to play sports, and I hope for a career in some sport. Very good. Will you guys enjoy yourself? Please welcome them all to the show, if you would, please, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we had a tough uh, first round there, but we have a second clue coming up, so listen closely. Here we go. Uh, Acme Canine Language Interpreter. I'm sorry, we're not going to need that today. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> That's Secret Agent Fado. <laughs> I see. He says Wonder Rat took the bird to a South American port. <laughs> Back when the Spanish conquistadors were in power, it was the gateway to the wealth of the continent. <laughs> yeah, I was getting to that. He said it was a prime target for Caribbean pirates like Sir Francis Drake. He sacked the city in 1586 and got a 10 million peso ransom from the people who lived oh. there. Oh. oh, I see. What was that? That was by. By. Very good. Before, oh. That was by. Well, that was by. Very good. Okay. Uh, before you go, I was just wondering, how do you say, uh, I have rocks in my salad in Terrier? That'd be Cairn Terrier or Boston Terrier? Boston Terrier. That would be Yip Yip. Very good. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. You were great. Thanks a lot. You want to go outside? Yeah. Want to go outside? Yeah. Come on, boy. Go outside. Atta boy. Okay. I, 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 I. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, please uh, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Leon, Cartagena, 
Guayaquil. None of the clues that we heard, a South American port, once the gateway to the wealth of the continent and was a target for Caribbean pirates like Sir Francis Drake. Brian's ready, so is Previn, and so is Vanessa. Previn, we'll start with you. What do you think? I said Cartagena. Carta, Carta, what is that? Cartagena. Cartagena, okay. Uh, Vanessa? I also said Cartagena. Cartagena, Brian? Cartagena. Cartagena, the answer we're looking for is Cartagena. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Previn, Vanessa, Brian, you all have 60 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, we heard Wonder Rat has left Cartagena and went to Guadalupe. Went to Guatemala, so that means it's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions are about Wonder Rat's most recent known whereabouts, which is Guatemala. So, hands on your buzzers. Each one is worth five crime bucks. Listen carefully. Here we go. In the Guatemalan jungles, you'll find the ruins of the city of Tikal, some of which date as far back as 7, 740 A.D. Name the ancient civilization that built Tikal. Was it the Aztec, the Inca, or the Maya? Brian. Maya. Maya's right. Nice job. Five for you. Watch carefully now. I want you to take a look at this. You see this here? See this? Okay. The question is the following. Is this instrument, this instrument plays a big role in the music of Guatemala. Is it known as a xylophone, a sitar, or a marimba? Previn. A xylophone? Sorry, it's not a xylophone. Right? A marimba. Marimba is right. Nice job. How's you? Question number three. Guatemala's national bird has shiny red and green feathers. The Maya considered those feathers symbols of authority. Is the bird a quetzal, th a thunderbird, or the oriole? Oh, we were looking for quetzal. Okay, so that means at the end of that round, Previn has 60, Vanessa 60, Brian 70 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Very good. Come here to my office. Okay, Chief, I'll be right there. You guys stay here. I'm going to check with her. Be right back. Chief, your phone's ringing. Yes, it's been ringing all day, but whenever I pick it up, there's no one on the other end. Down here, let me try it. Back me, Crime Net. Yeah, she's right here. It's cute, Chief. Hello. Hello. Hello? They did it again. You know, it's probably Carmen up to her old six. You know, it's a fine mess when I can't answer my own phone. Chief, wait a minute. There's something in your ear. That's what? why. There's something in your ear. Oh, there is? Yeah. Let me, you want me to get that? Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. No wonder you couldn't hear me. You had an earplug in your ear. Oh, of course. <laughs> it was noisy last night, and I put in my earplugs. It looks much better. Oh, I bet so, yeah. Now, is there anything you want me to tell my gumshoes today? Yes. Tell them, if Carmen is put behind bars, the gumshoe who packs her in the slammer will get a free trip anywhere in North America. That's good news, dude. If you get out there, get back to work, Greg. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, I, and one, by the way, could yeah. you get this one out? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, bye, Chief. Oh, yeah, bye. Mmm. Wintergreen. Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Wonder Rat and the uh, bird. Uh, fortunately for us, though, Acme Bucknet has just received this phone conversation between Carmen San Diego and Wonder Rat. Watch. Acme's closing in on you. Bag the birds and head for the capital of a southern state. It's where the civil rights movement got underway back in 1955. That's when Rosa Parks, an African American, refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white man. Yeah, yeah, I know the place. Uh, listen. Can I head for that lunch joint with a huge buffet of local homemade food? You mean the farmer's market cafeteria? Yeah, I'm thinking the customers might want to see my Rattlemania Roadshow. The customers might want to see you in jail, Ratface. Keep your tail out of sight. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Louisville, Nashville, or Montgomery? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital of a southern state, civil rights movement, and where Rosa Parks refused to give up her bus seat. Everybody's ready. Previn, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Montgomery. Montgomery. Vanessa, what do you think? I also said Montgomery. Montgomery. Brian? Chose Montgomery. Everybody said Montgomery. Everybody's right. Nice job, guys. Okay, so that means, Previn, you have 70, Vanessa, 70, Brian, 80 crime bucks. Nice job. Now, we haven't caught Wonder Rat yet, but I'm convinced that soon we're going to be able to... Catch that she's a creep ex con On the Appalachian Trail Catch that she's a creep ex con Scrap it off Mount Washington 
because it's time he went to jail. He's in the wind, 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 the wind,
Uh, okay, thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, now it's time for you to go to Sichuan to try to track down Wonder Rat and bring back the uh, stone bird. You have to find him and bring him back. But, as you know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> Hey. The boys at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides on Sichuan, the most populous province in China. Have a look. Around a hundred million people call Sichuan province home, including these school children. Sichuan's rural areas boast more farmers per acre than any other area on earth. It's the ideal environment for rice growing, flat, warm and wet. <laughs> this Acme Oxnet agent is scanning the patties for our missing birds. Now, if he wants to hide the stolen relic among stone relics, Wonder Rat might head for Mount Emi, an ancient Buddhist site in Sichuan. In the past, the government frowned on religion, but Buddhist tradition is still strong here. But sadly, that's not true of the giant panda. Living mostly in the mountain region northwest of Chengdu, the giant panda are threatened with extinction. Now, much of their bamboo forest habitat has been cut for farmland. The Yangtze, third longest river in the world, long a source of inspiration for artists and back pain for laborers. Before the invention of the steam engine, men lined its banks and used cables to haul boats up the river. And that's where I want you to send Wonder Rat Gumshoes up the river. He's taken the soapstone birds of Zimbabwe to the province of Sichuan, China. Go get them! Okay, guys, come on. Here we are in Sichuan. You said step down there and take a walk right over this way. What happened there? Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you will be able to find Wonder Rat, the stone bird, and a warrant for Wonder Rat's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to find is the loot. Of course, that's the evidence you need so you can get the warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. If you catch Carmen San Diego, then you get that trip to anywhere in North America. Now, one more thing as always. If you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Brian, you are ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Uh, Shinyu High Lake. Shinyu High Lake. Oh, nothing there. Sorry. Vanessa. Um, Wenjiang Farmhouse. Wenjiang Farmhouse. Oh, sorry. Nothing there. Brian. Pearl Shoal. Pearl Shoal. Sorry. Nothing there. Vanessa. Mount Emi. Mount Emi. Wonder Rat. Nice job. You got Wonder Rat. Now remember, Vanessa, you have to go in the right order. Loot, Warrant, Crook. Go ahead. Um, Exhibition Center. Exhibition Center. Oh, nothing there, but you found Wonder Rat. That's good. Brian, go ahead. Jinjiang Hotel. Jinjiang Hotel. Good job. You get the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead, Brian. West China Coffee House. West China Coffee House. Nice job, though. You found the loot. We'll turn these back around. Vanessa, your turn. Jinjiang Hotel. Jinjiang Hotel. Idle, idle. <laughs> Go ahead, Vanessa. Yuan Restaurant. Yuan, Yuan Restaurant. Nothing there. Okay, turn those back around. Brian, go ahead. Jinjiang Hotel. Yes, folks. Once again, the Jinjiang Hotel. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. The Fine Arts Institute. Fine Arts Institute. <laughs> nope, sorry. Vanessa, you are not going to be able to choose, and uh, we want you to take a lot of time with this. Go right ahead. Jinjiang Hotel. Surprise, Jinjiang Hotel. Be careful to watch the birdie. <laughs> Go ahead, Vanessa. Mian Yang Post Office. Mian Yang Post Office. The warrant. You, ma'am, have the loot. You also have the warrant. Do you remember where Wonder Rat is? And Mount Emmy. Mount Emmy. Is he still there? Yeah! Wonder Rat! You've won! <laughs> Come here, Vanessa. Come here. You're just chatting and enjoying this. Very good. Nice job. Now, what you have to do is form a chain, put one right in jail. Do it. Congratulations. Thank nice you. job, pal. Okay, listen. We're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. First off, Brian, you were a great detective. You tracked Wonder Rat all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief. A gumshoes beat is the whole world, and world beat is the music for the 90s. So, we're giving you a collection of world music, CDs by artists from all around the globe. Plus, we have this CD filled with music from Rockapella, including our theme song and we've all chipped in to buy a portable CD player. Congratulations! Thanks, Chief. Vanessa, I want to remind you again, no smiling, please. Very good. Take it. I want to make sure we have that clear. Okay, now, what you have to do now is find out where Carmen Sandiego went. If you catch her, 
and you're going to be able to get a trip. What we want you to tell us is where you would like to go if you get that trip. Please do so now. <laughs> Off the top of your head? Yeah. Oh, that was great. Very good. I love this choice. You're going to love this. Yeah. Now, what you have to do is find out where Carmen San Diego went. Normally, we get a phone call. We got one today, too. Hello? Yeah, she's right here. Go ahead. Hello? If there's one thing a rat can do, it's rat. If you want to find Carmen San Diego, sniff around Asia. What are you saying? We're going to Asia. Okay, Vanessa, you and I are going to Asia. Chief, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, China, Mongolia, Myanmar, Myanmar Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia, North Korea, Japan. Good. Let's go to the map. Feel good. <laughs> You know what this is about, right? Yes. Okay, what you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each one with a marker. When you are right, you'll hear this sound. But if by chance you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. Now, if you hear that sound twice on one marker, leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we'll continue, okay? But if you're right, eight times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. How will that make you feel? Good. I think so. How will it make you guys feel? All right. Come on, let's do this thing. Get 45 seconds up on the clock. All your buddies are here to cheer you on. Good luck, Vanessa. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Malaysia. Malaysia. Go. Go. Cheer on, guys. No, try it again. Hurry. 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 Come on. Let's go. Jordan. 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 Cheer on, guys. Yeah, come on. Japan. 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 Do it, Vanessa. Do it. You got it. Come on. Turkmenistan. 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 Do it. Yes. Indonesia. 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 You know this. You know this. Come on. Yeah. Mongolia. Mongolia. Do it, do it, do it. Yes, ma'am. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. Do it. Yes. Cambodia, Cambodia, Cambodia. Hurry. Yes. You did it. Did you know you did it? Yes, no. I didn't think you did either. Okay, listen. You and a parent are now going to Let's Mexico. Right here, buddy. How do you feel? Great. And I'll tell you what else. Now you are no longer a gumshoe. Now you are a sleuth, which means you're going to be able to wear this cool sleuth jacket. What do you guys think of that? Are you okay? Yes. You did it all today. Here's your coat right here. Listen, uh, there's, uh, you've been doing so many great things for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do, though. You know what it is. Do it, rock a Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger built up from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on the low bus to China. Tell me where in the world. Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Maybe another cup right on the floor. Red Sea to Greenland. They'll be screaming in the blues. Well, they never Arkansas her steal. The meat come from the jungle. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. She go from Nashville to Norway. Don Andrews in love with Chicago to Czechoslovakia. I'm back. Thick Pin speaking.
for where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And remember, Carmen's quick, but we'll out zip her. Fast as lightning, just like Flipper. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. <laughs> Your heart or cold or flat or hilly pieces of ground with water, 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 water all around. The five biggest islands of the world renowned. It's time to rock the mic, boys, and count them all down. You've got to head your bow north to find aisle number five. Ice oh, and fjords, glaciers, a real snowy drive. Ooh. A thousand miles long, Nana, don't you be laughing. <laughs> the fifth biggest <laughs> island in the world called Baffin. All these coast of Africa, you'll find the boards where the Malagasy people live in Lima's galore. If those empties your stomping ground, you're not very far. From the fourth biggest island, check it, Madagascar. Check it, cruise along the equator, you'll find number three. It's covered by three countries in the South China Sea. Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia say, yo, they're on the third largest island, and it's called Borneo. Indonesia, also part of island number two. The other half is Papua New Guinea to you. It's wide in the middle, but it's in the real skinny. The second biggest island, give it up for New Guinea. Yo, kick the ballistics while I sing number one. It's Denmark's territory, got the midnight sun. If you don't like ice, you're gonna think it's the mean land. It's the world's biggest island, give it up for green. We're the Nana Potters. You. We lick Nana's hot. You. So Nana, please remind us, what is it we got? You got the Nana. <laughs> nana. <laughs> you got the Nana. <laughs> nana. Come on, Nana. 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 Nana.